Well, we've had some big name retirements during uh, this year in the AFL season. Matthew Knights was one of those from Richmond. He's standing by with Phil Carey back at TAC Oval. Phil. Thanks, Beverly. Uh, it's Father's Day and my two sons gave me this hat. What's your opinion? Uh, very attractive. I, it's, Thank it's, you very it's, much. It's, <laughs> And I've got Matty Knights with me too, and he's got a boy and a girl, so he's had a good Father's Day. What did they do for you this morning? Had a good Father's Day. They uh, bought me in a couple of books early this morning, and uh, <laughs> I went out with a few mates of mine last night, and uh, they woke me up a little bit earlier than I would have liked, Phil, but I uh, had a good day with them. So what's the former Richmond champion reading these days? Well, I've got a bit of uh, Phil Jackson uh, oh, yeah. walking with the Bulls, and um, yeah, so a bit of that going on. And uh, But I've never done much reading in the past, but really getting into it. So the kids are right on the ball. Good stuff. Well, look, put your coaching cap on today. We've got the uh, Coburg side down by a handful of goals. Um, what would you do? Yeah, it's interesting. It's hard with Steinford missing. If, if they had him in the ruck, they may be able to push Vardy forward and, and really worry Chris Bond up back and to make some changes. But uh, Saunders has played well. Smith, yeah. Smith's getting on the lead. So the positive is for Coburg, they got back into that late in the quarter they got back going and got the last 10 minutes was a, some reasonable footy i suppose mcgrath they're giving them a chance but you, you'd notice this the number of times they've had to kick the ball short coburg haven't they and that's a worry isn't it well when you kick it short you tend to have to go sideways and chip it around the boundary and and that's not their style of game they're a fast moving side and uh, i think that's what alan richardson will be urging them in the second half to get on their bikes and run hard yeah well, i mean steinford's obviously a problem uh, you think you reckon vardy you might give him a run up there in the forward after maybe test chris bond to get him have to work that magnetic board <laughs> Yeah, well, you love to have Vardy at both ends because he's uh, he's just a terrific spoiler in the gates, but he can also take a good mark on the lead. So uh, I think if things get desperate, uh, I think they'll probably leave him down back to start with, but if things get desperate, they might look at moving him. Can't win the game. Um, now, uh, what about that fella Talbot at centre-half back? I mean, how good a player is he? Well, I've just watched him in the first half, and I'm watching him a bit this year, and he's poised down back. Uh, his calmness... His willingness to actually get there and show a fair bit of leadership has just been great for the club. And uh, I know the Coburg Tigers think a lot of him. Yeah. But uh, I tell you what, he's he's really shown that he hasn't. He could nearly take the next step. Well, he could, couldn't he? I was just thinking of that 20. He's as cool as a cucumber, isn't he? And he and he just minds his man and he just calmly gets there and uses the ball well. I think we saw an indication of that a mark in the last uh, last 10 minutes there. Where he just edged his man under the yeah. ball, took the mark, and his use of the footy is is second to none. I believe in in the VFL. So yeah. I, I believe he could nearly take the next step. So, um, can the Coburg side get up? I believe they can. I mean, uh, both coaches, I think, would be... Um, Chris Bond would be pretty happy with the start. Yeah. But I think Alan Richardson would have taken a fair few positives out of that last sure. 10 minutes. And as I said, if they can get on their bike and start stretching, uh, stretching Werribee on the run, I think they might be a chance. So, I think Coburg can still get up. Good on you, Matty. Great to talk with you. Happy Father's Day. There you go, Beverly. Back to you. We think we're still in with a chance, and I'm not going to be biased in the second half, just I've been so fair in the first half, haven't I? Is that a coaching cap that you've got on? <laughs> <laughs> I bought it at the uh, at the primary school, I think. They had one of no, those stalls. A slightly wider brim than you'd have at South American feel. Thank you very much, Phil. Don't know what the players would have made of him if he'd turned up in that and given them instructions.